So obviously Felicia Day is coming back, and uh, her character is somebody that's resonated with uh, a lot of fans. Uh, can you talk a bit about how we uh, might start to see her come back into the uh, world of Supernatural? Well, yeah, I think uh, Charlie's going to come in uh, in, in uh, something of an early episode this year when the boys are. Uh, we're, we're 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 going to have a real um, fun episode, basically, where we're basically uncovering. Uh, what looks like it may have been the first case ever uh, uh, for the men of letters once they came into the bunker in 1935. And that case, um, uh, Felicia, or Ch our character Charlie, gets involved in. And as much as I can say about it is that it has something to, very much to do with the Wizard of Oz. So it's a lot of fun. And I also want to talk a little bit about Crowley. Um, how do you think his character, we saw a bit of his humanity in the last season, uh, how do you think that's going to play into it? Are we going to see more of that or is he going to use this fallen angel situation to sort of uh, manipulate things again? Uh, what, what do you think is in store for his character? Well, I think uh, first and foremost uh, we're going to see that Crowley is in the uncomfortable or unenviable position of being a prisoner of our boys. Uh, he's a prisoner in the Men of Letters bunker and uh, uh, like you were saying, Crowley is always scheming for something. So. Watching him try to wiggle his way out of this situation uh, uh, is going to be uh, a lot of fun. In terms of the, uh, the part of him that was sort of explored at the end of last season, I think there's a, uh, and that'd be the, that, that, that human side, which he almost got to, I think there's a part of him that wishes it had never happened because it made him ask questions about himself that he wished had never been asked. So uh, it happened. I think he wish it never happened, and I can't say that it's completely uh, gone. So uh, obviously we have this fallen angel situation, but we also have Metatron and uh, uh, Abaddon still running around on the loose. Um, might we see them again in the future? Um, well, Abaddon burned up, but we love that actress, so I think you might find a way to bring her back. Um, Metatron, uh, we love Curtis. <laughs> he did a great job. I think he realizes that perhaps he was a little rash because all these angels have fallen, he got his revenge, but he's up there all by himself and I think he'd like to repopulate heaven with angels but on his terms. Um, and that'll really play into what's going on with the uh, internecine battle with the angels on earth. We also uh, know that Bobby may be coming back in some form or another. Uh, can you talk about how uh, that will play into this season? I don't talk about how, but yeah, he'll be back in a form that we haven't uh, I've certainly seen him in. Um, and then also, uh, I want to briefly ask, because the show's been going on for nine seasons, how long do you think the show can keep going and going? We thought we were done at five. Uh, <laughs> we're now almost double that. Um, I suspect ten will probably be it. You know, for me, a magic number is 200. I've been here from episode one, so that would be a round number for me. Um, you know, I think Jeremy may have other plans. but. Uh. <laughs>